Hey there, my name is Julian and welcome to MemberScript 135. So what we want to do in this one is redirect after the form submission based on something that was selected in a select field. So anyways, let me show you how that works. First things first, let's just go ahead and type something. And where do you want to go? So here we've got some internal links and we have an external link and you could do either one. I'll show you how in Webflow in just a second. For now, let's go ahead and click dog gif or gif, whatever you want to call it. And as you can see, it has submitted. And now if I pull out my phone, I can show you that I have just received a Webflow form submission. Right there, as you can see. So that is how it works. If this is what you're looking to do, then stay tuned. And I'm now going to show you how to do it in Webflow. So first things first, you're going to need the script for member script 135. You can see it here in the demo project. If you're watching this from the member stack site, click in the next tab to get the code. If you're watching this from the YouTube channel, go to the link in the description. It'll take you to the page where you can get the code. The only other thing you're going to need to do is simply apply one attribute to your select field, as we can see here. And that is ms-code-dropdown-redirect. Then within that dropdown slash select field, whatever you want to call it, we have our select options. And as you can see, the value in this case is slash dog, which means it's going to go to my URL slash dog. Same thing here, slash cat. And then here we have this HTTPS, blah, blah, blah. Clearly, this is an external link. So you can put an external link in there too. You can add URL parameters. You can do whatever you want. That's how it works. If you have any questions, just let me know in the member stack 2.0 Slack in the member scripts chat channel. I'll talk to you soon and have a great day.